Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I want to introduce you to the weekly Apex event. Every Thursday we have this event and you find it when you look at the bot uh, top right on your main screen. There's events, click there if it's a Thursday and then scroll, scroll, scroll until you come to the Apex Outlaw. That is the event I'm talking about. And there are three different ones. There's Apex Exile, Apex Hunter and Apex Rogue. There's one important thing. The Apex Exile is a solo leaderboard. And before you do anything in Eclipse Space when this event starts, you need to join it. I already did it so you can't see it now because it's running. But that one you need to join, otherwise you don't get points for whatever you do. The other two are open from the beginning. They are both um, solo milestone events and uh, they are unlocked already. But you need to join the Apex Exile SLB if you want to take part there. And of course you will, because if you do the other stuff, you will do that too. And so that's why I'm stressing that so much. A lot of people always forget to click join in the beginning of, of Apex Outlaw. So don't forget that. And we go there from, from right to left, from the easiest um, SMS to the, to the SLB. And so let's have a look at Apex Rogue. For Apex Rogue, you have to destroy Eclipse Amadas. And you can gain points by destroying a lot of them from uncommon uh, 27 to epic 45. When you destroy it with a stellar, you get extra points. If you spend directives, and in this case, it's a nice one. Usually when we have Armada events, there's often only rare and epics, but you also score if you spend uncommon eclipse directives. And you can gain points by gaining or leveling up or promoting outlaw offices, but in this case only rare or epics. And outlaw offices, in this case, it is those offices you get from rogue store, the faction store, or from the augment store. So augments count as well here. And then you get rewards for it. You get um, Oh, come, it doesn't let me click properly this time again. Let's take this one. You get rogue reputation, that's for the rogue faction, and you get rogue event trophies and eclipse heist tokens, which you can exchange in the event store. I'll show you that one later. Then we have Apex Hunter. In this case, it has nothing to do with armadas. You have to destroy hostiles for this. You have to destroy either the hunters in uh, Augment Space, the bounty hunters, that's what I was searching for at the moment, in Augment Space or in Rogue Space and the exchange systems. And you get extra points. So you see for level 19, you don't get so much for level eight, 38, you get more. And then you have the same here. And the Eclipse Hostiles level 40 are the ones that bring the most. And you get extra points if you use either the Stellar or a hijacked ship or by for building and tearing up a hijacked ship. Hijacked ships are usually not very important in this game, especially because uh, the Legionary and the D3, they can't even cloak. You can't use the cloak for those. So they are only good for this event. And then we have Apex Exile. And here you can score in an SLB, so it's a solo milestone, by destroying Eclipse Armadas. Yeah, the same again. By destroying with Stella, you get extra points. If you spend directives or gain officer shards from the outlaws I mentioned earlier. You get um, points or for leveling up outlaw officers. And um, you also get for promoting and recruiting certain levels of outlaw officers as well. 
but the most do their points with with the eclipse armadas here and depending on where you end in uh, here you get um, outlaw research credits and you get contraband chips those you can exchange in the event store again and then we go to the event store for a second there yeah we have a lot of events going on at the moment but there's apex outlaw and you click that and then you can see what you can do you can exchange those rogue event trophies for certain things that's here it's uh, materials like gas and, and and so on then um, you can use them as well for ship parts in my case it's four star ship parts you can also um, use the contraband ships for hijacked ship blueprints which i never do but you also can use them for refits and it only shows the refits you don't have and what refits you can get also depends on your level and your ships and the ships you have but you can get uh, refit charts for the assimilated stellar for example but in the in the beginning you get um, you can get charts for the opus grande that's a red stellar code and that's a really nice one because um, it boosts your ability for for getting loot a lot and then later you can get salvage algo or salvage enterprise um, or salvage d4 but um, to get those you also can use your eclipse heist tokens because you can either use them to get highest loot badges, highest loot credits, so faction credits, or highest loot contraband. And in the contraband, there's not only uh, shards for officers, but also contraband chips again. So by using the highest loot tokens here, you can get more contraband chips. And in the highest loot credit section, you need to know that there's only chances for either of these. So you will not get all four and if I use my heist loot chips here, I usually get the credits I don't need at the moment. So um, I usually use it for the heist loot contraband, which I anyway wanted to do today. So let's have a look. Yeah, I got another 4,000 contraband chips here and a few um, officer shards. That's nice. I can upgrade Khan now. And so. I'm waiting for the ship butts. Oh, here we go again. So I can use this because uh, they are always hard to get the UC battleship parts. That's why I'm doing this. And I need I need a lot of um, ore at the moment. So I just get ore for the rest of it. And then I did my shopping. And um, for the Apex event, of course, you have to defeat hostiles here in this purple space. That's the one space. Or back here in exchange uh, space where all the armadas are. It's hard to show some at the moment because there's still a lot of fighting going on and they probably have all been destroyed. So I, I have a quick look if there is one active at the moment because it's... it's uh, overcrowded here you see there's an eclipse armada um, tbr is doing at the moment and those you need to do to score in the apex events and on the other side for the hunter you have to um, destroy for example exchange transports as i said and they will give you points for that one apex as i said is every thursday um, for the time being and it's really worth taking part, but it's always a complete chaos because you see how many ships are standing around here. This one uh, is here as well. That's an epic. Oh, let's quickly see how fast I am. So I just quickly started an Eclipse Armada because we are still in the middle of it. So um, if no one of my alliance is online, I didn't have to check that because with my Stella, I meanwhile can do uh, uncommon 35 alone that's not a problem but probably someone will join but that's how you score and um, 
in the SLB it always depends on what level you are because those are level sorted a bit. Um, so you, you wouldn't, if you were on my server and you were level 20, you wouldn't compete with me in the same um, leaderboard. Um, so that is always sorted. And um, you will be hunting like I, I was just lucky, but uh, you are searching the whole time for those armadas because the whole server is trying it. And the seriously, the respawn times for those armadas are still really bad. Scopely changed it a bit, but but not to the really better. Um, they they could respawn much more because that's that's really annoying that half the day you are just looking for an armada because there are so many alliances trying to do them and every single one of every uh, alliance is trying to start one so that is quite annoying but nevertheless the rewards are nice so you should try to get into the top 50 of the slb because uh, only the top 50 get rewards and you should manage to finish your your milestones because the rewards are quite nice that was just a quick introduction into apex if you have never seen it before i've never done it before and don't forget to join the third one before you start an armada otherwise you will have uh, given away points and if you like my videos please do subscribe to the channel and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'm always happy about reading your comments so if you have anything to add if you have questions um, or just want to say hello please leave a comment and if you want to see another video right now the next one is right here in the end screen i'll see you there i'll be back